Nissan GTR fuel maps. Ekitex high powered, high resolution fuel maps are 26 by 19. They provide 200% greater resolution than the stock factory 16 by 16 maps, which enables more accurate calibration at high RPM and high load. With the new rescaled maps, we can offer up to 8,000 times more resolution over the stock Nissan maps, providing unparalleled smoothness and drivability. With the Race 1 feature file applied, this is Phase 3 Race 1 feature file, version 12738. We go to Maps, Maps by Function, Fuel Maps, and we can see the four fuel maps. One, two, three, four. These are specific race ROM feature file fuel maps. Now we will just close the fuel maps and concentrate on one. So as you can see it's a much larger 26 by 19 map. This is the size of the high power, high resolution fuel map versus the factory fuel map. So here we can see standard one, 16 by 16, Equitex high power, high resolution, 26 by 19, much, much larger fuel map, 200 um, engine load, which will be around 1,000 horsepower, 1,000 newton meters of torque. The standard car will pull engine load to around this region. Um, a tuned car, probably 100, 110% engine load. Uh, lots of customers now are running around 200, 220, I think, is the highest engine load we've seen so far. The engine load can be rescaled all up to around 330. The standard um, scaling is is very very coarse. Is probably the best way to put it. And you can see when we click on the 2,000 RPM scale here, we have to move in 50 RPM steps. This is where some of the smoothness and resolutions come from with the latest software, where we can increase in much smaller. Let me see if I can find the right button here. So that's one, two, three, four. Four times more resolution here. And with the engine load scaling, again, we have very very small resolution. So um, compared to the factory maps, very coarse adjustments. So we're able to, to interpolate much, much smoother, much, much higher resolution. The fuel map is an AFR target, um, not the calculation map. So this is your target, this is what you're going to get. In addition, the injector flow scaling, we've got four injector flow scaling parameters, one for each map switch mode. Um, they're all set up as standard injectors, but we're no longer limited by the standard injector scaling where we're stuck at, um, I think it's, um, excuse me, so this is the fact default value and 800 is the maximum so with the race run maps we can go beyond 800 and we have the Equitec 1000 cc injectors in our car so we can adjust this for different modes if you're doing flex fuel if you're doing ethanol tuning and you don't use a flex fuel sensor you can dedicate one map set up um, to um, to an ethanol setup so you would um, say the injector size was 25, maybe 30% smaller, and let's give you an example like this. So we would set them 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 
and then we will say in mode 4 we've set for ethanol and we're going to get 25% more fuel in more injector open time in mode 4 where you can have a dedicated um, E85 tune for example. Some cars are different, you need to adjust this injector scaling to suit your particular injectors um, and fuel type that you're using. Usual injector settings, there's a multiplier and offset, our um, Ecutech 1000cc injectors we use, we use a 1mm offset and the other important um, parameter that we adjust is the injector minimum open time. The standard car will run around 2 milliseconds, so we always reduce this down to um, around 1 millisecond. As the standard car with the 1000cc injectors will idle around the 1.75, so it's important that we reduce this minimum open time. It's one of the settings we make every time when we develop a calibration.